Nicholas Andre, Wikipedia article audio. Nicholas Andre de Beauregard was a French physician and writer. He played a significant role in the early history of both parasitology and orthopedics, the name for which is taken from Andre's book Orthopedie. Early life and career. Worms. Orthopedia. Modern recognition. Andre was born in Lyon, and spent his early life preparing for the priesthood. His early studies were widespread, however, and he published a book on the usage of the French language in 1692. In his thirties he studied medicine at Reims and Paris, receiving his degree in 1697, and in 1701 he was appointed to the faculty of the College de France and the editorial board of the Journal des Savants. Andre's early medical work lies within the nascent germ theory of disease. His first book, De la Génération des Verdes dans la Cour de l'Homme, was published in 1700, and translated into English in 1701 as an account of the breeding of worms in human bodies. The book was an account of Andre's experiments with the microscope building on the earlier work of Antony van Leeuwenhoek, whom Andre cites frequently. Unlike Leeuwenhoek, Andre's purpose is specifically medical, and his experiments with the microscope led him to believe that the microorganisms he called worms were responsible for smallpox and other diseases. The book contains a detailed discussion of spermatozoa, which Andre calls spermatic worms. He observes, if you cut up a dog, and after you have taken off one testicle, by the help of a microscope examine the humor that comes out of the deferent vessel, you shall discover in it such a hideous number of little worms, that you shall hardly be able to believe your own eyes. Andre confirms an argument previously made by Leeuwenhoek, that spermatozoa are the occasion of the generation of all animals. Though Andre recognizes the importance of sperm to reproduction, however, he addresses their workings primarily in the context of parasitology, and essentially considers spermatozoa to be a unique species of parasitic worm. The book seems to address a general audience in addition to a medical one. As medical historian Clara Pinto Correa has observed, one of Andre's principal purposes was to educate the public about the new science that was emerging from under the microscope. He wrote, We must admit that there are animals a thousand times less than a grain of dust, which we can scarcely see. Our imagination loses itself in this thought, it is amazed at such a strange littleness, but to what purpose should it deny it? Reason convinces us of the existence of that which we cannot conceive. The book was well received, and became a standard text in the field. Andre was appointed Dean of the Faculté de Médecine de Paris in 1724. Andre published his Introduction to Orthopedics in 1741 under the title Orthopedie, then a neologism. It was translated into English in 1743 as Orthopedia. Aimed more at parents than physicians, the book presents a theory of human anatomy, skeletal structure, and growth, along with instructions for correcting deformity. Andre explains in the book that he formed its title of two Greek words, viz. orthos, which signifies straight, free from deformity, and pays, a child. Out of these two words I have compounded that of orthopedia, to express in one term the design I propose, which is to teach the different methods of preventing and correction of deformities of children. Though the book was read and cited extensively in the period, its main lasting influence in medicine has been its title which became the name of the field devoted to skeletal and related injuries and ailments. 
Outside of medicine, the principal impact of the book derives from the engraving on the frontispiece, which shows a straight stake tied to a crooked sapling, a metaphor for the correction of deformities in children. The engraving captured the attention of contemporary readers, it is referred to, for example, in George Coleman's 1787 comic opera Inkel and Yariko. Andres Frontispiece has played a significant role in the cultural studies of 18th century medicine. It is included, without comment, as the last in a series of 10 18th and 19th century illustrations in Michel Foucault's influential study of the history of correction, discipline, and punish. Scholar Paolo Palladino has explained Foucault's use of the image as showing that practices as disparate as orthopedics and horticulture were increasingly predicated on operative principles that focused on the manipulation of these different life forms' presumed common material substance. Moreover, the image raises questions of agency, since it is unclear who exactly bound the tree. No human or divine form is visible anywhere in the background, the image therefore accorded with Foucault's understanding that the operation of these principles was invisible and pervasive. A simplified version of Andre's illustration continues to serve as the international symbol for orthopedics, used by a number of different institutions in multiple countries. In conjunction with clinical orthopedics and related research, the Association of Bone and Joint Surgeons presents three awards annually including the Nicholas Andre Award.